What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with another video and today we're going to be going over how to find the right suppliers on AliExpress. For those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over. This is the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society has helped for us to do. We're not going for average, we're striving for excellence, baby, let's go. So uh, to kind of get started, right, uh, I know obviously this isn't the sexiest topic, like not everybody wants to know about suppliers. You guys obviously want to know a lot more, you know, technical things, uh, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, setting up store, how do you find the right products, all that great stuff, right? But when it comes down to e-commerce and dropshipping, like I mentioned before, uh, every single part of your business has to be congruent, right? You can't just uh, focus on one part of the business like specifically how to set up the right kind of store that converts and not focus on you know how to how to set up the right kind of uh, you know Facebook ads or for example focusing on how to set up the right Facebook ads but then not have a good supplier or having the right kind of product right so everything has to be in line if you guys are gonna focus on e-commerce and drop shipping you know one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you guys is to make sure that all parts of your business are congruent and they're all you know obviously well put together if you guys want to see more videos of me showing you guys how you make sure you have every single part of your e-commerce business well put together make sure you drop a thumbs up hit that like button on this video and of course if you you guys have any questions at all about finding any suppliers or you know finding hot products anything related to this specific part of your e-commerce business make sure you drop a comment below with any questions you have and I will be responding to all of you guys so so to kind of get started what I did is I actually put together just some couple things some key things to kind of go over with you guys so when it comes time to find suppliers on AliExpress right uh, obviously you guys know AliExpress AliExpress is a platform where obviously there's tons of different suppliers. They're all over the place. You have suppliers in China, you have US suppliers, which a lot of people did not know about. And you pretty much have all, all the suppliers that you know are selling any kind of products online, you know, they're on there, right? Because of course they know that AliExpress is a huge website. The founder is actually the sister company of Alibaba. For those of you guys that know Alibaba, made by Jack Ma. He's an absolute you know beast. Also, I'm pretty sure he's on the Forbes list and a billionaire as well. He's a founder of it. And again, it's the number one platform for suppliers that have products to sell. When it comes time to obviously uh, find products and suppliers on AliExpress, you know, there's a specific things you want to look out for and there's reasons why suppliers are important, right? And I'm kind of go over those. So as I just mentioned in the intro, right, the suppliers and fulfilling orders is a specific part of your business, right? When it comes down to it, obviously, you know, you set up your store, all that great stuff. Now you get an order. Now when the time comes to fulfill it, you're not the one fulfilling it. You're sending all the information to AliExpress, to the supplier for them to fulfill it. So of course, you know, they're taking care of the actual fulfilling of the order and they're the ones responsible for the product getting into the hands of the customer that has purchased from your store so in that case you know that that is a still part of your business that you're not completely responsible for but you want to take full control of right you want to make sure that that part is running smoothly as well because if you guys don't take that part of your business seriously it can cost you later on to have you know returns problems with orders and a whole lot more so obviously you guys want to avoid those and i'm going to kind of go over how you can make sure to avoid those and some things to kind of look out for so uh, of course they're important because they they take care of filling the order so of course you want to know what's going on and you know kind of make sure you're going with the best options for you know who's fulfilling your orders and who's taking care of that uh, a bad supplier again it can they can cost you money you know in the long run so you want to make sure that obviously you're you know in the right terms with the supplier you're taking the time to find actually a good and solid supplier and you're not just picking any random one because you see that they have the cheapest price that's one of the easiest mistakes you can make and obviously i want to help you guys avoid any uh, silly mistakes that you are making so of course you know make sure that you find a good supplier a good supplier can be very useful right if if you find the right one you're gonna there's gonna be tons of different benefits and you guys are gonna see that along the way because of course you know this isn't gonna be like a one-time deal if you find a good supplier you're gonna want to build a relationship with the supplier because again they're gonna be fulfilling all your orders and once you find a hot products and you start to start crushing sales which of course is the ultimate goal these guys are going to be cranking out all your orders so you're going to want to be on good terms you know find a good one and you guys are going to realize later on the importance of really having a good supplier so uh usually you want to have more than one the reason why is because they all do drop shipping but some of them don't do bulk drop shipping which is super important for later on for those of you guys that are more advanced that are watching of course bulk csv drop shipping is super important because this is what makes your business a lot easier for those of you guys that don't know what bulk csv drop shipping is uh, it's basically where rather than you going 
you know, one by one with your orders and submitting them to, you know, the suppliers and fulfill orders one by one. Uh, you can actually, you know, once you're process, this is more for higher level, more advanced people, but once you're processing hundreds and thousands of orders a day, uh, you can then just uh, download a CSV file, a file that basically has all the orders in one place. And then you can send that file to the supplier and they basically just put together uh, an invoice that you then pay for one order and it's the amount of the total amount of orders that you have for that previous day so that makes it a lot easier because of course you don't have to process the orders one by one you pretty much you know do it all in one go and you want to make sure that you know once you start working with one supplier you find out you know after you you know you make a good amount of sales you find out if they do bulk csv drop shipping because this is going to make your business later on a whole lot smoother like 10 times the amount because if you still have to do i mean think about it, if you guys have to process thousands of orders which is obviously the goal that's a good problem to have you don't want to be the one spending you know all day processing those orders and obviously later on i'll obviously make a video on how to automate and alt source uh so obviously you don't have to fulfill the orders i was actually taking a lot of time on my day you know when i first got started to fulfill it and trust me it is not fun after it gets to the hundreds uh you know to the hundreds of orders it is not fun it's much more beneficial for you to have to do bulk csv drop shipping rather than having like a va or you know uh, assistance do it because it'll take them a lot longer than it would if you just do a bulk order so the, we'll get into that later on but that's basically for you guys to know that bulk orders are what you should strive to do later on and you want to you know come in contact with your supplier to find out if they actually do it because again not all of them do and you want to know that from the jump because that way if they don't that way if they don't do it you can find a supplier that actually does finding a supplier right obviously there's going to be tons of different suppliers are going to have different pricing all these different things right there's some key things you guys want to look for in a specific supplier you don't just want to pick the cheapest one uh, the one with the best price and just focus on you know obviously how can I make more money you want to focus on finding quality suppliers because if not again they can cost you money so you want to make sure that you're looking out for some of these key things so one of the first things you can look for of course you can look for price you can narrow it down to obviously there's gonna be some suppliers that are just overcharging for their products so of course like you know you guys can keep those in mind but there's also gonna be ones that are trying to undercut everybody and they're gonna be the cheapest ones so I usually wouldn't recommend to go for those i kind of find the ones that are in the middle not too expensive not the cheapest kind of in the middle but then have that good reputation as well so i would keep in mind i would for sure find the cheapest ones and again do an audit on them but i wouldn't automatically go with them i would also find the most expensive ones and kind of do an audit on them and kind of go through these things we're about to go through and just keep them in mind and then after you go through those two then kind of focus on the ones that are kind of in the middle and you know pretty much just compare them all i usually like to compare a few before i decide on one to kind of stick with but we'll, we'll obviously get into that so price for sure is one of them you want to make sure you're looking for the price point you're going to have again all different kinds of price points including you know the shipping costs you also want to make sure that you know you look at the shipping how much it's costing you because shipping does vary from supplier it usually isn't that crazy of a difference but you can sometimes get good really good deals um, from some suppliers rather than others based on the, 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 the shipping price because again the shipping usually is like anywhere from three to five dollars so obviously if you can find a supplier that meets these you know certain criteria and they have free shipping that's obviously huge the second thing you guys want to look for is a number of orders and the reason why this is important is because of course you don't want to work with a brand new supplier because that's a risk right if you work with a brand new supplier you know they have no experience you don't know what can go wrong but it can hurt your business right so you want to make sure that you're working with a supplier that already has a certain amount of orders and one of the ways you can do that is by simply clicking on that supplier obviously you find the product click on the supplier itself you would then go through and see what other products they have and how many orders do those products have right so obviously it, it, you'd feel more comfortable with a supplier that has uh, no, numerous different products with a good amount of orders rather than just a supplier that has you know one product and doesn't have any orders right so of course you want to make sure you're checking the number of orders uh, you want to check the current inventory make sure you check to see what products do they have to offer depending if you're a general or niche store of course you're going to want to know what kind of products they have available because you want to just check out see what other products they have available maybe they have some other products that you can add into your store and if they do that's just more into your favor because then later on that means you can get better deals on those products but if they don't you know no big deal but at least have an idea of what products they they have in inventory so you know if potentially if you ever wanted to test certain products you know that you can come to them for it and if they don't have it obviously you would go to a different supplier but you want to at least know the supplier that you're working with and the inventory that they have available you want to make sure you check the time that they have been around and this is super simple uh, you can actually check aliexpress and when you go and click on 
uh, the supplier's uh, profile, it'll let you know how many years they've been around. So obviously, again, you wouldn't want to go with the most recent one. I would look for one that at least has over a year, um, if possible, two to three years that they've been you know around for. That way, of course, they have more experience. They have you know a lot more time that they've been doing it. So obviously, it's a lot more you'd feel a lot more comfortable, or I would feel a lot more comfortable working with someone that's been doing it for a lot longer rather than someone that's brand new. So that's, of course, one of the things you guys wanna look out for. And of course, of course, of course, of course, you wanna make sure you guys are looking for the reviews, right? You wanna make sure that you're looking out to make sure that the, you know these suppliers have really good reviews, and there's a specific reason as to why you wanna do that. And the reason why is because suppliers really care about reviews, right? And specifically on AliExpress. And the reason they care about reviews is because, of course, they know that when people come in, just like how we went over, one of the things they check when they're deciding on what suppliers to work with is the amount of reviews that they have. You know, I've had experiences where a supplier, I didn't really get on good, ter good terms with them just because they messed up on some of my orders. And obviously I got really upset because I ended up having to refund some customers. You know, it happens. And so what I ended up doing is I ended up going on AliExpress on their page and I left them multiple bad reviews. And of course, they're not a huge fan of that because what that does is that it does cost them business. It does turn off other drop shippers, you know, just like some of you guys watching from actually going and placing the orders with them. So of course, they came in contact with me and they actually asked me to, you know, they actually ended up going through the process where they actually made up for, you know, for the orders that they messed up with. And, you know, they ended up asking me to remove my reviews because you know, obviously that's a huge part of their business and it's costing them money. So of course they'd want me to remove it. So we ended up working things out and I ended up removing my reviews, but you definitely want to make sure you check in the reviews because these guys are huge when it comes to reviews and they know that, you know, getting good reviews is important because again, you have people like us coming on there and looking at reviews. So that's obviously huge. You know, if you guys go on Amazon and you look at the different products there, one of the biggest sections that almost everybody checks is the reviews and they have tons of them. Um, and also the reviews is huge because if you can find good reviews for the products uh, and the suppliers, then you know that these guys have a good history of getting the job done right. It pretty much just saves you time and effort because other people have already used them and they have good experiences with them. So I'd make sure you look out for that. That's obviously super important. Now, you wanna make sure you guys are building a relationship with the suppliers and there's multiple reasons as to why and I'm gonna explain and get into that. One of the first is if you can build a relationship with a supplier, specifically a good relationship, you're able to negotiate and then later on get discounts and better offers on some products, right? So that's obviously gonna be huge because again, when it comes time to you know good numbers for how much you're generating with your e-commerce business, you have to factor in product costs, right? So obviously if you could you know, reduce your product costs and get better uh, prices on specific products, obviously that's gonna be huge because that's gonna be more money in your pocket and in my pocket if I obviously once I do it. So that's obviously why it's huge. Now I've, I have built relationships with you know a few different suppliers. I don't have tons of them, but I do have uh, specific suppliers that I work with that they're like, you know, we're like boys now, you know what I'm saying, for the boys, because they look out and they give me good prices. So of course that's huge, you know, those are gonna be like the broskies, right? Without 40 Ollie, there be no me. Imagine if, if I, I never, never met the bros keys. Yeah, that Drake's on Guys, fire, right? Um, I'm a huge Drake fan. I know some of you guys watching probably are too. Let me know if you guys are. Again, one of the reasons why you want to build a relationship is, of course, because of that. Again, more money in your pocket. So make sure you guys focus on, you know, once you come in contact and you find one supply that works for you after you do an audit and kind of look for these key things and narrow one down, that you focus on building a relationship. And the way you can do that is by simply messaging them, right? Uh, usually they are pretty active on AliExpress, but usually what you want to do is you want to get them off of AliExpress. So what I do is I have them on my phone on WhatsApp. I have a chat set up with them that we come in contact. And I also have some of the, the people from my team in contact and in the group chat with them. That way we're always in communication, right? We don't know. There's never any time where we don't know what's going on. So that's huge. Um, and simply, you know, super simple. You can just message them on AliExpress and let them know like, hey, is there a better way to contact you? Do you have Skype or do you have WhatsApp? Usually they either they have one of the two so you guys can communicate with them on there like that. Another reason why you guys wanna build a relationship with you know these suppliers is because these suppliers, if you build a good relationship with them, they have a lot of connections usually and you know they work in the same places that a lot of other suppliers do. And usually if you build a good relationship with them, they can get you other products that other suppliers have even though they don't sell them. And the reason why they do that is because of course, now they trust you, they know that you can obviously bring them sales in and of course, they're not gonna say no to you know making money off another product so they can actually get you 
you know other products and get you those same discounts that they're giving you on the products that they're you know, obviously you're getting from them at the at the current point in time as long as it makes sense obviously they're not going to give you you know as big of a discount if if it's going to cost them more money but if it makes sense they can actually get you other products that other suppliers have that's obviously huge because it'll save you the time from having to go again and look for a brand new supplier with a brand new product and that's obviously huge because we're all about being uh, uh, super efficient with our e-commerce business and that's obviously why you know i'm showing you guys kind of these shortcuts that you can use to save you guys some time that way you can allocate that time to do more efficient things you know go out there have some fun go out there watch a movie you know pick up some girls uh, you know, take, play some video games. Actually, you guys, some of you guys that know, you know, we're huge into Call of Duty. Uh, we've been grinding it out the last couple of days. We don't play too much, but whenever we get us some spare time at the end of the days or on Friday nights, we do get on there. So, uh, you know, it'll, if you are able to obviously have an efficient process when it comes to finding suppliers, you can make the time to do the things that you want to do because, again, you don't have to worry about actually going out there and finding these suppliers. But that's why you want to do things like build relationships with these suppliers so you can do things like that. Again, it's going to make your, running your business a whole lot easier. I already mentioned, I already spoke a little bit about bulk CSV, but this is huge because, again, this, if you have to manually process orders and you only do it, you know, let, let's say, Again, you hire a virtual assistant, which I'll, I'll make a video on going over how to how you can automate your business uh, because now we pretty much have ours on, uh, you know, me and my business partner Samir have our e-commerce businesses on autopilot. Like we just check in and pretty much check in the numbers and that's pretty much it. Um, but obviously now we have a team behind us. But if we hired a virtual assistant to fulfill orders specifically and we didn't do any bulk orders, that would actually cost you a lot more, you know, a lot more money than you would need to actually be spending on, you know, paying assistance and to help you out because you can just have them processing the bulk orders, which will take way less time than them having to actually manually process those orders. So uh, this is another way, of course, being more efficient and obviously saving you guys a little bit of money because trust me, it can, you know, virtual assistants. If you have more than one doing different things, they can end up costing you a bit. And obviously, if you can find a way to reduce your expenses, again, it's going to lead to more money in your pocket. So that is it, guys. I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, press that like button for the boy. Leave me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions in regards to finding any suppliers, finding hot products, anything related to that area, make sure you drop a comment below. I'll be responding to all your questions. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.